What's going on, Kent State? We are in Athens, Ohio to watch Kent State University take on the Bobcats from Ohio. Ohio comes into this game seven and a half points favorites, and they were preseason favorites for the Mac East and the entire Mac. Kent State coming off an emotional win against that school down the road. Will they be able to bounce back is the big question. <laughs> After four straight years losing to the Zips, head coach Sean Lewis fulfilled the promise he made two years ago when he was hired to bring back the wagon wheel. It's great to be 2-0 and in conference and have two dominant wins, you know, um, to be sitting here six games in and to, to have our wheel, to be 2-0, and to be first place in the East and to have all of our, our goals ahead of us, you know, it is a sign of where we're at and the work that our kids have put in. It feels great. It's an unexplainable feeling, um, and I'm just excited to see what we can do for the rest of the season. An emotional win? No question. This is a position Kent State football hasn't been in since 2012's undefeated conference season. The real question is, will they be able to keep this momentum in Athens? We got to remain hungry, we got to remain humble, and uh, we need to keep our nose down and we need to go all in on a very, very good Ohio team this week and, and reshift our focus so that we can, you know, not let this be the highlight of our season. And Ohio is definitely consistently one of the toughest teams in the MAC uh, as far as playing style. Uh, they play aggressive, they play tough, they always have a good set of linemen and a good set of linebackers, so they're definitely going to be a, a tough team. When we try and look at each game as just the next opportunity and you're 0-0 when the week begins and you want to be 1-0 when the week ends. You know, I told the story to the kids uh, yesterday about the, the season when we were at the Cuse and, and we beat Clemson. It's the fourth win of the season. We finished that year with four wins. So let's not let history repeat itself and, and let's lock in and, and know what's coming on Saturday. For TV2 News, I'm Mitch Myers. Now the implications for this game is huge on the rest of the season for both teams. Game is slated for 12 o'clock and the weather is just perfect for football. Stay updated with every single update that we'll have for you at TV2 KSU Sports.